did a little bit of cleaning yesterday, you know, compounding, polishing, all that good stuff. So she is shining. Of course, the engine bay is clean as well. Gonna be getting that timing cover painted and I'm going to hang it over there. As you can see, I have the OEM grill. I just wanna make the garage a little bit prettier, you know, I'm gonna put some banners and whatnot just to make a little bit more of my home, I guess. What is going on, everyone? First of all, I want to say thank you for 400 subscribers, man. We're halfway through a thousand. Today, I'm going to be doing a power steering. Well, actually, I already did, did it off camera, but I'm just going to walk you guys through the power steering and coolant reroute delete. I did go ahead and buy a new OEM coolant overflow tank. This shit is actually looking really beautiful because it's pearly white and not yellow like the other shit, you know, like, I mean, this is kind of yellow, not too bad. Okay guys, we just bought some clamps and the hoses. The small one, this is a 3 8 transmission cooler line. And then this one is a half inch. I do apologize for the lighting. Hopefully there's not too much air as well. Saber's over there crying but you're gonna need two hoses, a half inch and a three eighths. So essentially all you're gonna do is, you know, take off these bolts, which are a 10 millimeter, take off the bracket and then you're gonna wiggle and take off the power steering that's attached to the bracket. Oh, so I do advise having like a turkey baster or some sort of plunging tool that you can remove the fluid from the top of the power steering reservoir. So you, you make less of a mess. Uh, but if not, all you're gonna do is you know put a towel here and then you're gonna wiggle off and take off the hoses So they're going to be pretty hard to take off and they're going to be a little bit seized But you're gonna want to use a variety of pliers just so you can wiggle them off But here's the power steering pump This is a half inch hose Make sure that you put oil inside the hose to rinse it off from any debris that might have been there before and put some power steering fluid on the tip of the tube of the power steering so you lubricate it because they've tried to shove this hose in it's not gonna really go in because of the friction but it basically goes around and here it is and the small one of course goes to the lines that go to the oil cooler, the power steering oil cooler down there. And you want to get a, about a foot each and you want to cut them long enough where you can actually make the power steering stand up like this. Cause you, know, you don't want to cut the hose too short. Oh shit, where your power steering is way down here and you might not have access to it because this way I can access it from the top and fill it up and also check the fluid level. Just some advice, whenever you are putting clamps on anything, make sure that you can actually access them in the future. For example, if I wanted to take this one off, I can easily reach from there. You're going to hide it and tuck it right there, right here, and you see this hole? You're going to put a zip tie through it and through this other hole right here and you're going to wrap it around the power steering reservoir and hug it. So you're gonna to wanna to put two zip ties together depending on how long your zip ties are. Mine are kinda of short, so I'll have to put another one. So here it is. So you wanna make sure that the lines are perfectly long enough where they can actually loop around and not choke or hold off any of the fluid. As you can see, mine are good. It'll wiggle, of course, up and down, but it's good. Oh, I did forget to mention, sorry about this, but I don't know if you guys will be able to do this without doing a windshield wiper delete. So I do apologize for that because I don't drive this car in the rain. As you can see, I don't even have uh, windshield wipers. So I don't need to use the, the wiper fluid. When you take off the bracket, it's probably gonna be dirty around here from all the dirt being trapped behind the rubber grommets, so you can take a rag and some isopropyl alcohol and just rub it off so you can take off all that dirt. So I topped it off a little bit, 
But now, what you want to do is you're gonna want to turn on the car. And you're gonna want to steer it. So the power steer. So the power steering pump works and sucks up the oil. Next, you're gonna want to check the level again. As you can see, it went, well, you probably can't tell, but it went a little bit lower. Now you wanna to top it off again. And just keep doing that. Just, oh fuck, I don't have the, uh, the rag. My hands are oily as shit. I got baby butter, bacon grease, hands and shit right now. So just make sure it feels good before you take off. And pump the brakes. I believe that bleeds it, I'm not sure. Uh, I think it pumps out the air from the power steering pump, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. After you drive in, let it cool off for a couple hours, uh, just check back on it again. Cause you know, we do have a, a minimum and maximum. So just make sure to top it off. Now as for the reservoir tank, with the coolant, it's much, much easier. You're gonna need a hose. It's a 5 16th hose. And it's about five feet just to be safe. And I do have the OEM tank. All I did was route the hose under here. Just a little opening right there. And it just comes out through the back, loops around. And I just have it literally in place here. So I do have a transmission oil cooler. So I think this helps me out with this not really moving around because it's just sitting on top. But if you guys don't have that, of course, then all you gotta do is put a zip tie through here, through this bracket. Actually, I'll go ahead and demonstrate this for y'all. You have a zip tie going through the bracket. But as for me, since I have this oil cooler and the one down there, I'm not gonna be doing the zip ties. It holds here well enough. And plus it gives me a little bit more clearance with this mesh grill because it is pushed back, of course, as opposed to the OEM one. So yeah, you can see it tucked in there. I mean, shit, bro, like, you got way more space in here now, bro, for real. You can smuggle a baby or some shit right here, man. <laughs> but since it is spooky season, um, kicks of the day, we got the Halloween joints. Yes, sir. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, of course, let me know, and I will be happy to answer them. Follow the IG if you're new. Consider subscribing. I make more VQ content on G35s. And Check this shit out. Uh, this is probably gonna be a wall where I'm gonna put like parts and shit just to make it a little bit cooler. Uh, this is a timing cover. It's painted in wrinkle black. I also gotta put on the, the little cover things for those. God damn it, this lighting sucks. But yeah, wrinkle black, looks nice. Just for some decoration and whatnot, and here's the OEM grill painted black. Sometimes I'm in my mesh grill, sometimes I'm in my OEM grill, you know? Just gotta switch out sometimes.